Well, it's a bit late in the day, probably now for the sporadic e season, but I've had a package delivered today, and it's something I'm going to use in conjunction with my ICOM 7000 uh, transceiver because that has six meters. I've been monitoring six meters on receive using my SDR. There's been quite a lot of FT8 activity, um, continental stations, and one or two over the water in Canada and the, and the US. I haven't got an interface that I can use with my ICOM 7000. Um, I have now, this is what's arrived, and I'll show you the, contacts of the contents of the package in a moment. Um, I have FT8 facilities, but um, using my uh, FT1000 HF transceiver, but that unfortunately only covers HF at the time. I've had that radio since new. The time I bought it, HF transceivers in, in general didn't include 6 meters. So I subsequently, a few years later, bought the ICOM 7000, and that's sitting over the other side of the shack. Uh, that monitor is 6 meters at the moment, 6 meters SSB, and I've had a few contacts this year on SSB uh, into Europe with a sporadic E. But as I say, on the SDR, I've noticed quite a lot of activity on FT8. FT8 is not my favorite mode, it's a useful indicator of propagation, it's not the most exciting mode to use, but it's something I can have running in the background when I'm in the shack if I'm uh, doing something else, and I can run the FT8 in the background and just see um, how conditions are. So let's have a look at what's in the package and let's see how it interfaces with the ICOM 7000. This is what's in the box. We've got the uh, unit itself. This is labelled as a U5 link. It's an AliExpress purchase. So uh, Chinese manufactured. Um, we've got inputs for uh, speaker input, mic, microphone input there. These are the audio cables that will run from the PC into the interface. And we've also got the USB connector there. On the other side, we've got uh, an accessory connector. That's the uh, the main cable that will run into the back of the radio, the Outcom 7000. We've got a CIV connector, which um, will allow this unit to control the the sort of computer control aspect of the radio as well as well as a sound inter interface. Um, so we'd be able to use something like Ham Radio Deluxe or the um, WJST program which will actually um, control the radio, switch frequencies and so on. We've got uh, an output for CW here and a PA, I don't know what that PA uh, output, I, I believe that may be to link the uh, radio to a linear. So it could be, uh, could be for that. Um, so that's the, the unit itself that came. We've got the... Um, Main connector cable here with a connector that will go on the back of the 7000 and uh, another connector that will go on the, the back of the unit here. We've got um, USB lead. So we've got a standard uh, USB connector one end and the, um, the square style um, USB connects to the unit, can't is it a USB A, can never remember what they're called but you know what I mean. Uh, what else we've got um, got a, a 3.5mm uh, jack or jack plug uh, that will run from the unit presumably that's for the, uh, the CIV control there the computer control for the uh, unit itself Actually, we've got three of these, three of those connectors. So one's for the CIV control, and then the other two are for the audio leads that are going to go into the front of the unit there. And that, just looking at the box, that's it. So um, we'd actually have to. We seem to have a spare. Actually, one more. Got a spare, spare lead. So maybe for the. Uh, CW connector, perhaps, I don't know. What we don't have, as is typical with these purchases, there's nothing left in the box there, you can see it, the box is empty, yeah. We don't have any documentation, we don't have any instructions whatsoever. So um, I'm hoping this will be fairly easy to set up. Well, that's what we've got. The next step is to connect it up to the radio and to a PC and see whether we can do anything with it. 
Now although I've got three base units in this room in the shack, three base unit PCs, I'm going to be using this little uh, mini laptop because none of the uh, none of the other computers are in the right place actually. It's just the way the shack is laid out. So I'm going to be using this. It's a Windows 7 machine. It'll run fine. It's only got one. I don't know whether the lighting is good enough. Yes, it is. It's only got one output there for both mic and speaker. But I've got a little adapter that will convert that to two. So that's okay because we need separates. And of course, we've got a spare USB port here as well. So this should be more than adequate to. Uh, to run our FT8 on uh, on the Icom 7000. Just downloading the uh, FT8 program WSJT. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to make the connections to the back of my radio. This is the Icom 7000. We're going to use the accessory uh, port there, and then the second socket in. You can see these are 3.5 mm jack. Second one in is the remote control socket. That's what we're going to use. And uh, there's the there's the plug. It's going to go in there. Because we've got sockets on the front and the rear, it's a very messy installation here, particularly using the little laptop. I have to tidy that up a little bit. But in the meantime, we'll see how it works. But it'd be better if all of the cables were at the back, wouldn't it? But what do you expect? Um, I've just plugged the USB in and you can see the unit, uh, the light is on, on the unit, the uh, power light. And um, Windows 7 tells me my device is ready to use. I don't know what it thinks it is. There's no driver discs or anything with this, so it, I suspect we may have to hunt around and look for some drivers. Let's see if we've got any connection to the audio on the radio anyway first. Got the uh, radio on um, the FT8 frequency. We've got it hooked up, got the program running on uh, the laptop, but uh, no decodes, can't quite work out why at the moment. I've um, synchronised the time, and I'll just turn the audio down the radio, but you can see we've got, um, we've got audio coming in now on the, um, on the computer. We can see in the, uh, the little uh, bar graph thing there we've got audio. But we've got uh, we got no decode, so that's a, a bit of a hunt around how to see why the program isn't working. Well, I finally got it running. PSK, uh, not PSK. I wish I stopped calling it PSK. FT8, FT8 on the uh, the Icom 7000. Just going to transmit there about uh, 25, 30 watts. There's the uh, little U5 link. So that's all uh, working, sitting on top of the. Uh, the power supply that's driving the 7000. Now if you remember I had a little uh, mini laptop up here it's gone. Okay it was a Windows 7 machine it just didn't want to work with this interface. It was locking up and uh, just just didn't 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 want to do it. So um, what I've done is uh, I am running uh, this is an i5 uh, base unit machine Intel i5 and um, got the audio connectors and the USB in that and um, that's running the uh, FT8 program and uh, there it is on the uh, on the screen had a couple of contacts today conditions aren't phenomenal on 6 today but I've um, had a contact into France and another in the UK so I know it's working and um, overall yep I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the unit it needs um, this machine already had uh, this machine had a driver installed. I use this machine. I have used it for programming uh, radios and so on, and it had an FTDI uh, clone USB to serial driver on it. And um, therefore, once I plugged the uh, the little U5 interface in, we'll just go back over to the interface. Once I plugged the uh, U5 uh, interface in. Uh, it recognised it and um, put it on a, a sign a COM port to it and it, it worked straight away. Uh, we need to sort out the uh, spaghetti behind here. I've tidied the front up a little bit uh, with these uh, these cables. Unfortunately, you know we've got cables at the front and on the back of this interface, but that's just the way it is. But um, I think all in it was 
40 something just under 50 pounds uh, from aliexpress delivered and um, yeah seems to be working well it also gives you the ability to computer control the radio if you wanted to use a login program like hrd or something like that um, and uh, also uh, you could now use chirp via this interface or something like that again to program your radio so it's not just a sound card interface it's a cat uh, computer controlled interface as well and i think you know for that it's it's very good value so there we go ft8 not psk ft8 on the um icom ic7000 on six meters <laughs>